Hey guys, okay, so in this video we're going to talk about some good benchmarks for starting copywriters, aka like what you should just, some people just like having a checklist of things to do so they learn and grow, but it's kind of confusing like, oh, should I write copy? Should I read books? Should I find a mentor? Should I do this? So here's just a one-stop shop of like a good checklist for somebody who is ready, they know what they're doing, they're ready to take it seriously, etc. Also really quick, just um, FYI for this, I uh, think I'm uploading this October 12th. Over the next month is the last chance of power hours for the rest of the year, slash maybe in the next year, I don't know. I am moving at the end of November, <laughs> uh, so yeah, yay. Anyway, so I will not have time to talk to anybody after that because my life will be in boxes. I will keep trying to upload content fingers crossed but um so this is it down below I'm also including a little like half an hour option for like half price if you just want to talk for like half an hour and knock out everything just you know info down below but anyway so into the content of the video so also please feel free to buy them and my pipeline book help fund my move but <laughs> so first and foremost Although I'm a little bullish on reading books, I think you should at least read one either psychology, marketing, or sales, or copywriting book a month. Just one. It doesn't matter which one. I, I suggest everybody starts with Ashley Ambergé's book, The Middle Finger Project. It is the good kick in the butt you need on like getting started on your own projects, moving them forward. It's not so much the technical how-to of how to like sit down and write copy. It's more of the mindset needed to grow as a copywriter. Do not recommend it more. From there, I'm sure if you Google copywriting books, like most of them would pop up, roll the dice and pick one. You know, it's not, if it's a bad book, it's a bad book. If you even learn one good nugget from it, it's worth it. Okay. From there. So one book, at least a month. From there. Uh, 20 to 50 pitches a week. <laughs> I know that's a lot, but if you really want to take it seriously, it's go time, you've studied enough, you kind of at least have a grasp on what you're doing, that's how much it needs. Uh, just sending one or two pitches a week is not enough. It's 20 to 50, personalized. And at the end of the day, that's like five, maybe like five a day, you know? Like it's only a handful, um, probably take you like an hour, maybe two. If that sounds like a lot of time, then I have no idea how you're going to have the time to fit in being a freelancer in the first place. Cool. Okay. So that, and we'll dive into pitching. I'm thinking of doing like a pitching kind of like workshop. If you want that, kind of let me know if there's any interest in that, like a little, just like a little, I don't like the term webinar because I think a lot of people use those just for like scammy things, but like a webinar kind of, I, anyway, idea. Um, from there, you want to send like 10 networking emails a week. And this is not people you are pitching for services. These are sometimes people you're interested in their industry. You're kind of like not, and don't say, can I pick your brain? Because almost every single business owner is like, absolutely not. I do not have time for anyone to pitch anything. <laughs> but, you know, there's kind of, just Google Ramit Sadie networking. He has strips on it. Use those. Email people who are doing interesting things. Email people who are like making products that you're fascinated with and not with the context of like, hey, you know, even as someone who owns a god awful amount of websites and things and has produced content for the internet for 12 years, the amount of nice emails I get that don't want something versus things just with pitches is like, a million to one. So when you just send people nice emails that you're enjoying their content, you know, and if you are lucky enough to get them to give you advice, it's someone you admire, they give you some nugget of wisdom, follow up with them, put it in your calendar, your little planner, two weeks later to the day, you're gonna follow up and tell them how you use that advice and what it has done for you. Oh my God, will you stand out like nobody has ever stood out? Believe me, content creators never get these emails. I'm like, oh my God, I used your script and your advice and like now all well, like these things are happening. Nobody follows up. They just go and die on the internet. So 
follow up, you will stand out. Okay, from there, publish one thing per day, whether that's a tweet, an Instagram post, a blog, a TikTok, a YouTube video, something. One thing of your own on the internet published every day. Yes, all of this is a lot of work. Yes, this is what it takes in order to succeed in this industry truly in a like real freelance kind of way. Not just like, oh, I want to make an extra like $100 a month once in a while. Like, no, I want to play in the big leagues. This is also for just like any business or any like content creating position. But like, um, and then the last thing I would add on this checklist to do at least every week is to study copy from mid tier, if you can find them, meaning like five to 20 employees, maybe under like 10 million in sales. <laughs> that is a mid tier business. God bless America. Uh, because they're not a beginner where it's so new where like the CEO is sitting there writing the copy, which isn't really copy you want to study. Um, and they're not so big that it's such a, some giant agency, like studying Nike's copy can help you, but it's also, when you finally looked at like a final, like if I could just flash a piece right here of finalized copy, it has gone through like 37 different people, 500 different pairs of eyes. This is like, it is hawked at. There's very little creativity left at the end of the day in the giant companies and they're all great and they're cool and every once in a while Target publishes like a really cool, hip, innovative ad. But for the most part at the giant companies like Amazon and stuff, it is so corporate and bland and boring. There is no snark and personality, which is why that mid-tier is kind of fun because usually sometimes they've hired a copywriter or they have someone on staff or like they're playing the personality angel and that, that stuff some like unique little beer company that is the magic copy that you want to study. It's hard to find, but when you read it, you'll kind of know because then the copy's good and then you look up the company and you realize like it fits within this parameter. Everything under, bad. <laughs> everything at the top, corporate jargon. Uh, everything in the middle, usually fun. It's hard for companies to maintain that fun when they like grow to a certain level because now they have like shareholders and like they can't just put like, go F yourself in the middle of copy, you know, like, but um, that's pretty much it. So that is the checklist. If you're starting in copywriting, that is the golden tier nugget of everything. Cool. I'm trying to keep video shorter and more to the point throughout the next few months, just while I did ahead on some content. Thank you to everybody who applied, who wanted to like work with me. I'm still getting back to everybody. If you didn't hear from me, it doesn't mean you're like immediate rejected. I'm just... <laughs> I expected like five, not like 150. So um, getting back to everybody. Some people are just going on a list and I'll reach out to you as soon as I like have some idea. I'm working with someone right now who's like gonna help me bring in systems, checklist, SOPs, like all that kind of stuff to really figure out what specifically I need before I'm just like, help me to anybody. I'm like, okay, no, I specifically need someone who can do like, so I'm putting that all to paper and then the whole entire churning will begin of really moving on to the next phase. It's a very slow phase. Um, but that is it. That is a checklist for if you are looking to get into copywriting that I would follow for any newbie. Doesn't matter how much experience you have. That will give you in six months. Just do that. Come back to this video if you do that every work day. Take weekends off. Don't go crazy. You will see huge results. Okay, that is it. Happy Tuesday. Bye, guys.